Let's look at creating an interstitial add unit ID. So we go down and create another add unit ID. This time we select interstitial. And first of all, for the add type, you can see that we also support video here. That is because an interstitial ad covers the entire screen. The interstitial timeout defines the maximum number of seconds that we are willing to wait to receive the interstitial ad. If this time expires, then the onAddFailToLoad method will be called. And then we also give it an ad unit name and save it. So now we created an ad unit ID also for an interstitial ad. Let's click Done now. And here we can see the ad units that we've created. There are also lots more options that you can set for ads. For example, which categories of ads you want to display. You can do that by going here, Allow and Block Ads. And you can see lots of different categories here, and whether your app allows that ad category to be displayed. But let's go back to the main page. And this is our dashboard. You can now see the estimated earnings for your app displaying ads. That's it for the basics of the AdMob interface. There are lots more options. For example, how you can promote your app or analyze the behaviors of ads and users. But those are more advanced topics. But now you know the basics of earning money to show ads in your app.